the cement sector is on our radar now. What is cement demand on the ground and what are expectations for the rest of uh, FY20 and FY21? As well, uh, what about this price increase that we are seeing? Mahendra Singhi, the managing director and CEO of Dalmia Cement and president of the Cement Manufacturers Association joins us. Uh, Mr. Singhi, the first question to you is as uh, the president of uh, uh, the Cement Manufacturers Association, uh, we hear comments, about, we hear uh, reports that uh, uh, cement prices have been going up, especially in South India. Uh, can you tell us what is the ground picture? Have companies been able to raise prices? By how much? Uh, happy morning. Uh, I would just like to say that uh, since last two months, mm. uh, now cement demand has started looking up. Uh, up to October, uh, there was a deep growth of cement demand and from November onwards, there has been some uh, improvement in demand in uh, certain parts of the country. And uh, now it looks like that whatever, say, prices which might have uh, gone down, they, they beg, uh, again uh, come up and uh, cement prices may, and cement uh, bags per, uh, prices per bag may get the right price. Okay. Um, Mr. Singhi, so you're saying that cement demand has been looking up November onwards. Uh, I'll come to prices in a bit. Before that, what about volumes? What would your sales volumes have been in the quarter gone by? And what is the target for the full year? You know, uh, at the moment, I would like to t uh, talk on uh, our budget expectation uh, of cement sector. And there I would like to say that uh, 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 cement sector would like to have certain uh, expectations from the government and more particularly how demand, uh, demand can be revived and how real estate and housing sector that can be supported by the government and uh, I think if that happens and the infrastructure is spent it starts coming up and uh, whatever say government had uh, uh, stalled projects or the real estate uh, stalled projects if that, that can again be revived then I think cement demand can go up and based on that, then definitely uh, it will help also in economic uh, revival also. Okay, no, so what you're saying is that the budget should have an infra push. Is that your main ask? Yes. Yes, yes. So, uh, so definitely uh, budget should uh, talk of uh, roadmap for how government would be spending one lakh crore on infra mm -hmm. and then if that can be also shared with the core sectors that... Uh, year by year, year by year, these type of projects would be taken up. So that would be a big mm. push, big push for uh, cement sector, okay. steel sector, etc. And sec sec secondly, mm. how on affordable housing, mm. government can incentivize mm. and how uh, government can give also industry status to real estate players who are in affordable housing so that uh, the pace of uh, constructing affordable housing goes up because mm. you, uh, everybody is aware that now we have to construct about 30 to 40 million uh, mm. affordable houses to give housing to each and every Indian and for that uh, I think the speed is required for that uh, mm. economic uh, capability is required sure. so government can uh, if, uh, do something on mm. uh, housing for all then that would be great mm. and one more thing which I would like to say is that government had done great job a uh, few years back when they decided that looking to oral cost as well as looking to climate factors uh, all national highway roads should be of concrete uh -huh. and that has brought in good results that okay. has given good roads to the country but at yeah. the same time no, we got that sir policy can also be taken up for state houses uh, state roads etc that will be better no take your point uh, your uh, yes. we've got all your demands and in fact others have also told us that uh, uh, a fillip to affordable housing through even more tax concessions, uh, uh, interest rate concessions, uh, interest payment concessions. Uh, uh, these have come on board and we take your demands also on board. Uh, but uh, I just wanted to ask you yes. about uh, the current demand situation because we got the industrial output numbers for November and they looked good. Uh, the November core sector also showed that uh, cement uh, uh, output in November was a good 8% higher than October, which of course was a rainwashed month. How was December? I mean, was yes. it 10% uh, more than November? Can you just give us an idea of what is 
uh, the demand outlook for December uh, and January now that we are, you know, halfway through the month of January? Uh, n n n lo looks like that uh, 7 to 8 percent uh, better than the month of November. Oh. As well, uh, if I talk of a YOY, then also it may be 5 to 6 percent better than uh, December 18. Okay. Okay. January also, uh, in certain parts of the country, uh, there is demand revival and we expect that again uh, 4 to 5 percent uh, higher than the month of December. And uh, if uh, these uh, actions uh, again in uh, rural economy uh, built up, as well as takes up, then I think uh, we can see in totality for the year uh, FY20 uh, roughly 2 to 3 percent growth. Okay. You know, uh, so I wanted to ask you, you said that the demand has picked up and you're expecting in January the demand to be 4 to 5 percent higher than December. But on prices, what was the cement prices yes. in, uh, in the last fortnight? What has it been? Has it been higher compared to, uh, you know, the previous quarter? And has there been a hike already in prices? And that is geographically, sir, because we heard about the south. So if you can tell us, you know, uh, whether south did see higher prices and what about the other regions? Uh, you, you know, as a president of uh, Cement Manufacturers Association, I may not be able to comment on prices, but I would say that uh, there is a revival of prices in certain parts of the country, uh, generally on account of uh, demand revival also, as well as the way prices had gone down, so I think it's again picking up its place. Okay. All right. Uh, we will leave it at that. Thank you for stopping by and giving us a sense of what's happening in the industry. So demand has definitely picked up and they're expecting Jan to be 4 to 5 percent higher compared to December as far as demand is concerned. Stock is also in the green. But let's take a quick look at the numbers posted by Dalmia uh, Bharat in the past three financial years. It has seen a sustainable pickup over the last three years. That's a revenue picture for you. Next up is the EBITDA performance as well. Uh, there it's been slightly uh, sketchy. Um, and that is the profit after tax big boost over the last three years. Now, evaluation picture of the sector on your screen. Dalmia is actually uh, the cheapest of the lot if you compare it to uh, the EV to EBITDA. <coughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, that's uh, on cement. The market actually is quite quite okay. It's it's doing well. It, there, there was.